please get on your feet and give a last Vegas welcome to my friends, Fortune 500 branding expert, Mr. Howard Lim. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. How many people here have a business or know someone that actually runs a business? Show of hands. Now, I'm going to tell you a fact that you've probably heard before, but if I have your permission, I'd like to tell you a secret around that fact. Do I have your permission? Say yes. Over 95% of businesses fail or reach a lid and can't grow any further. Most people, like yourself, probably feel it's actually the clients, the lack of funding, the advertising, the marketing, the design. Well, in fact, it's your biggest blind spot. Would you like to hear that? It's your brand. It's the way that you connect or the lack of the connection to your customers. A weak brand leads to a commodity. A strong brand creates opportunity and wealth. So I'm going to give you three pointers about your brand. The first is, what is branding? People have a lack of understanding what a brand is. The second is, how do you actually build a world-class brand? And a third is, how do you continue to scale the brand? So let's start with the first. The first is, how many of you here think the brand is the logo? How many, how many people th here think the brand is the product, service, or the company? It's none of those. Okay, it comes as a surprise, huh? It's actually the brand is what people are saying about your service, about your product. It's not what you're saying, it's what they are saying, okay? So, for example, let's say if you had a chance to win a million dollars, okay, on a racetrack, would you drive a brand new Ferrari or a brand new tractor? Okay, you get that? You probably would choose a Ferrari. The point is, is that you probably have never driven a Ferrari, but you already chose that. You have an expectation. So you see how it's, the brand is residing in you? The question is, how big of a brand are you building in your customers' minds? What size is that billboard, okay? The second is, from a standpoint, point two, is actually how do you actually build a world-class brand? The first is actually understanding the difference your brand can make, not just to people, but also people that are affected by your product or service to those people actually shifting society. Most businesses like yours, they're not thinking big enough of the changes you can make. For example, like Apple. Think of the changes they've made with the idea, the idea that came into fruition, the Macintosh, or the iPhone that changed how we actually communicate forever. You here have that opportunity to actually make a huge difference for society. So why do I do what I do? Because I'm committed to inverting that number from 95% of businesses that fail to successful ones. Would that be the American dream? Say yes. yes. Would that create more of an economy of stimulation that more people would be less stressful? Say yes. yes. Would that actually create greater wealth and opportunity for you that you never thought was possible? Say yes. So that's what we do, that's what I'm about, and that's my commitment, is to actually transform ordinary brands into extraordinary brands that actually make a better tomorrow. So I am actually created a book, which I'm going to be happy to share an autograph with you, of the secrets of building what I've built and helped out with Fortune 500 companies, but how you can apply it to your business and accelerate its growth in making a difference for to humanity and for humanity. Would you like that? Yeah. 
Thank you for your time. I appreciate it, and I look forward to getting to know you all. Gentlemen, Mr. Howard A. Lynn.